tell us what's the first thing we gotta do? Yeah, we gotta solve these parentheses here, so we've gotta distribute that negative two. All right, this is a do some distributive property first. All right, so I'm gonna leave the four x plus two alone. I'm gonna leave the symbol alone for right now. All right, negative two times three, negative six x. Negative two times negative five, positive 10. Now, this is the kind where we've got x on both sides, which means what? The day we did this, we moved all the x's to the left, we moved all the numbers to the right. All right? And I think, didn't we do it all in the same step? Yeah. yeah, so we added 6x here, and if I do it on the right so that it crosses out, I need to come over here to the left, find the matching term, and put it underneath there. All right, and then we did it all in the same step. All right, so that was moving that to the left. The numbers have to go to the right. This says plus two. What's the opposite of plus two? Minus two. All right, two minus two is gonna make it go away over here. I'm gonna minus two on the right-hand side, putting it under the like term, okay? Everything falls out. So let's see, over here I'm gonna have a 10x. I'm gonna keep the inequality symbol. I'm gonna have an eight over here. That's okay. Can I divide both sides by 10? Yep. It doesn't divide out evenly. That's okay. We don't care that it doesn't divide out evenly. Do I flip the inequality symbol? Nope. Don't flip the inequality symbol. So I just have x is greater than. Can I reduce 8 over 10 to lowest terms? Yeah. So like 4 fifths. Okay. So that's an answer. All right. We learned about how to graph these. I'm not going to do all three. Let's just do... Let's just do one. All right, let's do the open dot, close dot. Four-fifths comes in between what two numbers? Zero and one. So put a zero here, put a one here. Four-fifths is like 0.8, so it's closer to one. All right, do I need an open dot or a close dot? Open dot, estimate it. Right about there, don't put another hash mark on there. Estimate it, that's four-fifths. All right, which way am I shading? X is greater than 4 fifths. I'm shading to the right. So I shade to the right. We could do another number line. We could do the one. Is it going to be curvy bracket or square bracket? Curvy. And then what number is down here? Infinity. Positive infinity. Okay. So let's do it. We did it on all the other ones. We wouldn't want to leave it off here. All right, so curvy bracket. Again, you're just going to estimate about where that curvy bracket is. I'm still shading to the right. We said that positive infinity is over here. So my interval notation, let's go ahead and write it. I'm going to abbreviate. Curvy bracket on what number? Curvy bracket? Four-fifths, because that's my answer. Four-fifths right there all the way to my infinity and then what kind of bracket always goes on infinity curvy 